Uh, yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy, KB Smooth Trucker 78. Ah, oh, man. Um, let's see what I'm gonna call this video. How about either the ugly day, the good, the bad, the ugly of trucking, or night DMs versus your DM? Where did I start? Well, I'll tell you what, new drivers and even seasoned drivers, y'all already know how trucking goes. You have your good days, you have your bad days. Hold up, I don't know if y'all can see me. Yeah, you go, got some light. And your ugly days. This was an ugly day for me, y'all. And I tell you, it all started, I mean, this load was just one of those loads that y'all know make you damn near want to get out the truck and be like, why am I doing this stuff? Why am I out here? I mean, we deal with it, you know, we deal with a stressful hell of a job as it is. Let me, hold on, let me get into some light. I don't think y'all can see me. Hold on. Yeah, I'm here at the TA, y'all. Just barely found me a parking spot. Uh, 40 East, coming through North Carolina, started backing up. I got less than an hour on my drive time, so. And new drivers, don't try to push your time limit. I, tonight, you're gonna, you're gonna run in a situation like myself. I didn't have no choice. <laughs> you feel me? Uh, it, uh, it just came down to it where the freaking y'all know live loads and unloads, man. I was getting a live unload. These, these cats I got there, you know, I was running behind. Uh, the loves up in Baxter, Tennessee, the freaking fuel pump shut down. I was had to wait there overnight. The, uh, the um, so they fixed the fuel because I had no fuel. I had no well. I probably had enough fuel, but I had no depth. And y'all don't want to run no no truck without no depth, no DEF, you know, diesel exhaust fluid, cause all types of problems, burning up Cadillac converter on the truck. Yes, these new trucks have Cadillac converter. I told you I'm a diesel mechanic too. So, yeah, I ain't trying to be down. My truck was just down in the shop for, you know, the airline fix. So anyway, then coming through Kentucky 80, and I'm going to tell y'all two new drivers, make sure y'all got an Atlas. Make sure y'all go purchase one. I was lucky that my company that I got my CDL through, gave us all drivers a free one new drivers because for you know getting your cdl completing it through them but get y'all the atlas i had to pull the atlas out y'all i got a uh, because the road closed gps ain't gonna tell you that uh ram and Allen ain't gonna tell you that garmin ain't gonna tell you that your truck pc or qualcomm ain't gonna tell you that so the road was shut down so here i am got to get off this road now and, and also, your signal got low. I'm up in the mountains, y'all. Y'all don't know if y'all know about Kentucky, but uh, I was going to Fountain Run. Well, I got I went to Fountain Run, got loaded up a uh, feed mill down there. It's like uh, it does stuff for like livestock feed and you know food for your your pets and stuff. So I got loaded up there, and I'm heavy, y'all. I'm damn near the max. I'm at 44,000 some pounds. You know what I'm saying? Going through these windy, tristy roads. Now here I am. I'm getting off the road that my GPS said, and now signal loss. I have no signal. So I pull over safely, legally. To this, uh, they had like a uh, a little uh, cover sack or whatever you want to call it. Pulled over there, got out the Atlas, y'all. Had to get out the Atlas. So then I'm on Kentucky. Uh, no, not Kentucky. I'm sorry, Tennessee 85. Just rode that bad boy, Tennessee 85 East, all the way till I got to 40. Uh, yeah, I had to do that. Uh, rode it all the way to 40, and then end up making it to my fuel stop. So that night was frustrating. So today I get up, woke up. Uh, actually woke up 5:30. My my 10 hours was up at about 6 6:15. Uh, went, you know, wash my face, do my morning routine, you know, then I go to fuel. They got the fuel pump fixed, but so since they were down, they only had three running, y'all. So here we are, all us truckers are backed up now in the fuel island. Y'all might see my video earlier this morning. I made a, a, a video about fueling. So we backed up now, waiting about an hour, hour and a half on that. Running up my, my 14 hour clock already running because, yes, I'm doing it right. I could have logged off, but no, I, I logged on duty. Did my pre-trip, now I logged on duty fueling. Cause that's what you're supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we cut corners and this and that, but I'm telling you new drivers, do what you're supposed to do out here because you don't want to get caught up by your company or better yet, DOT, and then you're in a heap of trouble. So I did that. Now, finally got fuel about two, three hours into my day of, of you know, waiting to get fuel uh, on the road course. Before they started backing up and then they stopped us all on the mountain they went down to one lane uh had a trucker almost slamming the back of me because he ain't keeping his following distance speed not paying attention i hope he wasn't on the phone and nothing bull mess like that so yeah so here i am on that now i'm, I'm already behind i told my dm like hey this load is way behind y'all need to call uh the Conacy, uh constantly and let them know so he said you got plenty you know you got time just get it there as soon as possible 
So, and my man's trying to back up. Let me move out of this way because he's trying to cut. And y'all all know about TA, right? All the parking spots are here are angle. And I will get to that towards the end of the, you know, end of my rant. <laughs> so, okay. So I get through that. Now, I finally make it to the concert scene, y'all. Got there, you know, get in there. You know, lady was very nice. I even told her I apologize. I went through some stuff today. I'm late. Oh, not to mention I went through a DOT inspection earlier, too, that held me up, too. I forgot to mention that. I did a video on that, too, if y'all follow my channel. I did a video on DOT inspection. So, uh, let me get out of these. Yeah, there's a lot of truckers trying to get these last couple spots, y'all. Let me walk up here. So, yeah, I went through DOT inspection. So, finally make it to the constant knee, right? At the constant knee, they, uh... They get me in there, it's like, it's like four or five trucks, I ain't the only one. Mostly Snyder there too, I guess that's another place, just like Walmart that Snyder like got a big account with. So, of course they're gonna get them first because they dedicated or whatever. So then they tell me go around to door 61. I'm like, cool, you gotta go back outside the gate, so I'm trying to creep, save my drive time, you know, best I can. Y'all know about that, uh, new drivers, if you don't know what I'm talking about, if you go under five miles an hour, the Qualcomm will not kick your drive time on. Well, at least right now. They said in December that's going to change. They say no matter in December, if your wheels start rolling, you're going to have to drive time. But till then, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save as many seconds and minutes as I can. So, I uh, creep around. I'm creeping, creeping, creeping. Get to door 61. There's a truck already in door 61. I'm asking him. He said, man, they about to go on break. And they, they ain't even started loaded, unloading me. I'm like, are you serious? Are you freaking serious? So, all right, here we go. But I'm trying to be calm, y'all. Be humble, be patient. But I'm already having a frustrating day. I'm late on my load. My hours is running out. I had to use all my hours just to get here. Took my 30 minute break. Now I'm running on the last few hours of my 11. Get up in there. Finally, the guy comes out there was like, man, we're gonna pitch you at door 65 because he, you know, and then we're going on break. I'm like, you know, I can't do nothing about it. I worked in warehouses, y'all. Yeah, uh, I did that before I got into trucking. Hold on. Let me take this off. Ah, oh, shoot. Bear with me, y'all. I'm sorry. All right, here we go. Yeah. Shoot. Um, Where was I at? Oh, so, yeah, I'm dealing with them. I had to go take that break. You know what I'm saying? So, just like we got to take... Just like we got to take a break, y'all. You, know, you know, employees, they got to take their break, too. You know what I'm saying? Nobody, no, nobody's no slave. Nobody's working for, uh, you know, working for free. Uh, sorry, I'm having issues, y'all. This, this is the topping of my night. Uh, all right. All right, here we go. Here we go. Thank y'all. Thank y'all can see me. Hope y'all can see me. It just, it's not a lot of light out here in this TA, uh, North Carolina, right down from uh, Winston-Salem, uh, Greensboro exit. Uh, I forgot what exit, y'all. I'm tired. Uh, anyway, I'm in North Carolina, TA. <laughs> so, yeah. So, finally get in the dock. They take their break. They come back about 45 minutes later. We st we get the unload going, y'all. Yes, we get the unload going. So, um, you know, I'm thinking my exercise on. I'm walking around the building, you know, getting my uh, steps on. I told y'all, brother does like 10,000 steps a day. Today I did almost uh, 20,000 steps a day. So, yeah. So, and don't get me wrong, new guys. Y'all gonna have to go with days like this. Don't get discouraged. It's just me ranting. But I'm just letting y'all know, this is what y'all gonna experience in the real trucking world. Everybody wanna sugarcoat it, say everything is great, lovely. You know what I'm saying? No, it's not. You're going to deal with some, some ish. You're going to deal with some stuff that you need to put up with yeah, as a trucker. So, get to that. Finally, finally getting unloaded, y'all. But I got another pre-plan because I'm, I'm also going home time this weekend. Figure it's, it's uh, Thursday, right? Friday, tomorrow, Saturday, I'm supposed to be at home. So, the next pre-plan has me going 40 miles up uh, Concord, North Carolina. Uh, some Stanley Tool place uh, loading for Home Depot going to my state my home state va y'all yep two up two up two down represent va baby so uh yeah i know y'all see me with my new york plaque and my new york giant that's just my team i love them since i was a little kid football phil sims lawrence taylor that's just my team yeah we doing bad this year that's a whole nother subject whole nother video we ain't gonna get into football right now i'm talking about trucking so yeah so anyway yeah i got a lad to keep from crying y'all because now that it's over with and i'm parked in a safe legal spot i can laugh about it so anyway i finally get now here comes the night dm versus my dm 
So I hit the Qualcomm message telling them, like, look, I got less than two hours left. By the time I-85 uh, backing up, 40 backing up, I said, there's no way I'm going to make it up there. No way in hell. You know what I'm saying? Even, even if I do make it up there, it's another live load, y'all. Y'all know how live load go. Minimum hour, but you never going to be there no hour. You you might as well expect to be two hours or more. So, boom, here he is. They don't want to communicate. So I'm just sitting in the lot now at the condo seat that I'm still at that just got unloaded. Oh, oh, back up a little bit too. After I got unloaded, they left my trailer all messed up, jacked up. And knowing I'm going to get another load, live load, you know how they want clean trailers. So I'm back there cleaning out pallets, wood chips. You know, I'm just, it is what it is. I know that's also part of our job, but when it's extremely messy and I was already running behind frustrated, I was like, man, I don't, man, this is bullshit. I swept all that shit and they lied. I ain't gonna lie. I did pick up the big wood. Now, let me take that back, y'all. Y'all know your brother, you know, I'm a Christian and also you're a good dude. I picked up the wood and then tried to throw it in little dumps they had back. I ain't gonna lie. And the pallet I set beside the building ain't my shit. <laughs> so, but anyway, got rid of all that mess, got the tail clean, you know what I'm saying? So I let them know everything that's going on. They finally get back and hold me and don't let these companies tell you, oh, don't call you know you know i don't know super service we got a number to call every company has some kind of way to call them don't call dm hit the qualcomm that's the fastest way to uh get a hold of us bull hickey and i hit that qualcomm they motherfuckers ain't come back to me to damn near 30 minutes later i'm sitting here like really dude like and then i'm calling they got me on hold you know how the night dm shift goes you already know so but I'm not talking bad about my company, y'all. Don't don't even don't even trip. Don't even think that like I'm all of a sudden. I know I've been super served, super served. Now I'm like bump super served. No, this is trucking. I don't care what company you from. Prime, Swift, CR England, Rail, uh, Warner, JB Hunt, whoever you work for. They all the same shit. It's all you gonna deal with this. So anyway, as a company driver anyway, you know, owner ops, lease ops, that's a whole different world. I don't even know nothing about. I don't care to know about because I probably never will get in that world. That's just my. That's just me. I'm um, not getting into buying that truck shit. Well, that's a whole nother video, another subject. So, finally they get a hold of me. Then they telling me, uh, well, the one DM was like, man, just get to the nearest truck shop, shut down. We'll reschedule. We'll try to reschedule in the morning. You know, dig that. Because it's only like a five-hour away trip, maybe 300-some miles to my state. I'm at the tip of North Carolina going up to Virginia. I can make that within my hours tomorrow and still shoot home get home and chill you know i'm trying to get home time y'all i've been out on this road y'all basically almost this whole month y'all i usually do my little ot and y'all know otr life they get you home when you, you can but sometimes I, I but actually i stayed out i ain't gonna take that i stayed out extra days because i'm trying to get caught up on my bills and yeah you know what i'm saying y'all already know or you will know getting into trucking is not you're not gonna be making a whole bunch of money it's expensive to live otr you got a lot of buying food to eat buying stuff for your truck um yeah so it's expensive so they finally get a hold of me they let me know hey go to the truck stop all right i go to the you know i'm like all right i'm looking in my and i got a little mini truck stop book i don't know if i showed y'all that but i'll do a video inside my truck but it's like a pocket truck stop guide i know people say trucker path i got that too but sometimes it's quicker just me grab that book and just look what highway i'm on and bam how many spots it got to tell you if it's large medium small this is a pretty big ta but it, you already know with the highway backing up this shit is full up so i get down there uh i'm going to the truck well before i leave they sent me a message called across time i don't know who sent this message but one of the dm did go go ahead to the shipper um new drivers i'm gonna give y'all a tip and even old head drivers will feel me on this one I'm not gonna use my, I got, I'm telling y'all I got less than two hours now. I'm telling you the highway backed up. I probably would have been on the highway that whole time. I'm not, I'm not one of those ones that do that parking on side of the road and all that ish, if I can avoid it. Now, knock on wood or whatever, I ain't got nothing to knock on right now. I haven't had to run in that situation yet where I ran out of hours and had to park on an exit or something. I'm not doing it if I can avoid it. I'm gonna park in a legal, safe spot. Plus you can get tickets for that shit, especially my state. Pull over on emergency exit or something. Virginia, they that's the Commonwealth, y'all. They don't play. They're gonna get them DOT or even state police trooper gonna pull up, man. What you doing here? They don't wanna hear that excuse I ran out of hours. They know that you should or was playing or whatever. So anywho, I'm like, man, I looked at that message like Psh, whatever, dog. I'm about to go to this truck stop and fuck you know, excuse my French, but fudge that i'm going to this truck stop y'all i'm tired it's been a long hell of a day two days actually and i'm just ready to get off this road it's one of them days where i ain't feel like i ain't even want to drive the fucking truck no more and that's real talk excuse me i'm working on that y'all but i try not to cuss in my video but yeah 
I ain't even want to drive the truck no more. And new drivers, y'all will get those days. Trust and believe me, y'all will. You're going to be like, man, why am I out here? Why am I wasting my time? I'm barely making money right now because you got to look at the prize, y'all. We got to get this experience. It's going to get better. You're going to have these days. Any job, you're going to have a bad day. You could be working at McDonald's, have a bad day. You could be working in a warehouse, have bad days. I'd have been there, done it all. When I was in the military, I had bad days. Every job had bad days. So just be prepared for that, young drivers. So anywho, long story short is your brother made it to this TA. They had some spots in the back over there by the shop. And y'all already know how TA petrols are. They angle, they're pain in the ass. But you know what? A driver just pulled out. Me and my man, there's a man next to me, man. He 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 held that spot for me. And I backed that thing on up in there, man. Did a quick uh, little quick 45, whatever you wanna call it. Got it in there straight. And I'm done for the night, y'all. So this is my rant. Just be prepared, new drivers. Your night DMs ain't, you know, they ain't all what they, you know, like your, like your DM. If my DM, I wish my DM worked 24 hours. My DM is awesome, man. I ain't going to put his name out here on social media, but he been good to me. I wish he stayed throughout the night, but they ought to leave at 4, 35 o'clock every day. So it is what it is. But y'all, I'm here safely. I pray, bless all y'all, have a safe time. All y'all truckers out there, be safe, y'all. Uh, shout out to all my truckers. Skinny, you get out here, man, for super service, yeah. Brother, it's real. It's real. Uh, yeah, I'm just telling you, man. All my truckers out there, Guilty 718, Bullpen Gang, Drive Van Gang, all the trucker gang out here. We all need to be united, y'all. Let's stop all the fuss and nonsense. Let's come together, help one another out. You see somebody struggling, get out and help them park in the dark spot. Don't sit up in your cab laughing at them, getting your two, two, two or five laughs like Cat Williams said. No, man. Get out and help that young brother, young sister. Or, you know, it, they might, it might not even be that. It might just be they tired. You don't feel like backing sometime when you're tired. I don't got these days where I don't want to back that thing up. I'll try to find pull through, but sometimes you ain't going to find a pull through, especially at late at night, depending on when you shut down. So y'all be easy, y'all. Love y'all. Peace, grace, and love to everybody, y'all. Uh, I'll be back with more video. This is just my rant. Rough day in trucking. Night DMs versus your DM. You're going to have to deal with it, y'all. Let's be safe out here. Always number one safety. Because my family's out here. Your family's out here. We don't want nobody hurt. We want to all go home the same way we came. Let's do this thing, y'all. One love. Peace. Your brother, KB Smooth Trucker 78. I'm out. Peace.